After about four fills, a cask is uh, exhausted, but it can be revived or rejuvenated. It can be rejuvenated, and what they do is a process called dechar, rechar, and that's, that's the process of basically, and I'll show you here, you know, the dechar is, as it says, you know, you've got the original crocodile effect there uh, from its original uh, construction in Kentucky at one of the, the cooperages and what you're doing is you're taking that layer of char off through the machine behind us and it's just a series of scrapers. What that's doing is it's taking it into, a, in theory, a new layer of fre fresher wood, not fresh wood, uh, and then you're re-engineering the process by recharring it. Uh, so in theory when you fill that with new spirit you, you've got a fresher cast than what you would have in third or fourth fill. not the same as an original fresh fill cast? Absolutely not the same. Now, what you're getting there is you're getting a much more bourbon style whisky. Generally accepted it would be low percent, maybe five percent, maximum ten percent. Of rejuvenated casts? Rejuvenated, in the mix. Yeah. yeah. And rejuvenated casts really only come into their own in times when you've got a wood shortage. Now, we're now into a heavy filling period in the industry. Wood from Kentucky and Spain is in short supply, so companies immediately look at their old wood stocks, their maturing wood stocks, uh, and ordinarily a fourth fill you would throw out the system. Uh, now, because of that shortage, companies are forced into using that. And the only way that you can do that to get any sort of maturation is the rejuvenation or dechar and rechar. And behind us here, we've actually got this is a hogshead that's been decharred. Yeah, so you I can see, see there, no, it's not into right into the fresh wood, uh, but the fresh wood's starting to come through. Again, companies will have their own specification for decharring, how much they want to take off it. Uh, but that, that's the process. Now, take the old char off take it down into fresher wood and then we go over to the, the rechar facility uh, which we'll go over and have a look at. Great. What we're going to do here is basically subject it to intense heat and what that's going to do is build up a temperature in the cast up anywhere up to 1400 degrees uh, and just basically rechar the whole cask and what we'll end up with here is that crocodile effect again. We've gone into the newer wood, we've caramelised the sugars again. Yeah, so it's degrading the wood and, and then it's charring. Similar it. process to when you produced a new cask for the, for the bourbon. Uh, so this is going to give you a different flavour of whisky. It's going to be similar to bourbon versus what we would recognise as whisky. This, depending on your quality specification, can be anything from a couple of minutes in charring to maybe four or five minutes if you want a really deep char into it. So the deeper, deeper you go in the charring, the more intense and caramelized you're going to make those, those sugars.